Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create AWS RDS for PostgreSQL 16.4. I have connected to AWS console. See, these are the recently visited services. We are unable to find RDS here. Then here search for RDS. See here we have the RDS. So click on RDS. Then click on databases. Click on dashboard. See in, in DB instances, 0 is there. Click on DB instances or databases. Both are same. Click on create database. Then see here we have two methods, one standard create and easy create. I am going with standard create and engine options we have to select the PostgreSQL, not the Aurora PostgreSQL, okay. See this is the information about PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL is powerful open source object relational database system with a strong reputation of reliability, stability, stability and correctness. Then select the PostgreSQL. Then see here engine versions. See it is showing 16.3, but if we scroll down, see here we have the 16.4. Select it. Then templates. See we have the production dev or test or free tier. Okay, based on requirement, you can go through it. But for this demo purpose, I am using free tier eligible. If you see, if you select free tier, we don't have this availability and durability options. See, all options are grayed out. But if you select production, see, we are able to select single instance or multi AG instance or multi AZ that is availability zone DP cluster. See, we have the same options for dev or test also. For, but for demo purpose, I am using free tire. Then here we have to provide the name for the DB instance identifier that is for this PostSQL. So I am giving AWS. RDS 16.4, 16.4, then credentials, this is the master username, then provide the password. See here we have two options for credentials management, self-manager and manager in AWS secrets manager. I am going with self-manager, then provide the password for this master, master user. See this is the master user, so Postgres is the master user, so provide the password. See the minimum Constraints are at least 8 printable ASCII characters cannot contain any of the following forward slash singular double quotes and add sign. Okay, keep in that mind and give the password. Confirm the same. Then DB instances, see DB instance for see we have only this for the pre tire okay storage i'm going with general purpose ssd gp2 storage auto scaling it is auto enabled i'm not going to change anything and connectivity don't connect to ec connect to an ect computer resource if you want to connect you have to select this one i'm going with the default ones and virtual private network i don't have any network so it is going to create new virtual private network vpc okay so it will it is going to create in this us east north virginia okay db group it will create new public access select s otherwise it won't allow you to connect from the public see here choose existing or create new i'm not going to availability zone select the any one of them Additional configuration, see this is the default port for the process equal. I am not going to change. Tax, if you want to add tax, you can add. Next, database authentication, password authentication. We have already given the username and password. But here we have the three options, password, password and IAM, password and Kirkos authentication. Retention period, I am not going to change anything. Additional configuration, if you want to create initial database, you can create, otherwise on instance rds instance created then we can create see backup retention period we can give up to 35 days but i'm going to keep the default one one i'm going to change it to seven days encryption if you want large exports you have to i'm not going to do anything review all the settings see if you are okay with all these settings you can go to the bottom and click on create 
database. Also see here, Amazon RDS free tier is available to you for 12 months. Each calendar month. See, only 20 gigabytes of general purpose SSD is available. Before it was 30 gigabytes. Okay. So if you are okay with all the settings, click on create database. See this, click on close. See status is creating and this is the DB identifier name and this is the region, engine type, size. Once it is created, it will populate all the details here. Okay. Click on DB identifier. Here you will get the more information like networking, subnet, subnet group, security, VPC and all, endpoint. It will be displayed and point and port number will be displayed once the status is running. Okay, refresh. If you want to see the credentials, you have to click on credentials. There you will see the username, postgres and password that we have given. See, now status has been changed and also see here successfully created. This is the identifier. Okay. See, it populated the endpoint also. You can click on endpoint, refresh. Now we will connect to this AWS RDS Postgres SQL from the PG admin. Open PG admin. See, I have already installed PG Admin on my machine. If you haven't installed PG Admin 4 on your machine, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Click on it. You can also connect AWS RDS Postgres SQL by using DB ever also. Or if you have installed PSQL client on your machine, then you can connect to it. Connect to AWS RDS Postgres SQL. Click on Add New Server or right click on Servers, then Register, then Server. Then here provide AWS RDS 16.4. Then in connection tab in the host name or address we have to give this endpoint. See this is the endpoint. So okay we have to give it. and port number 5432 it's okay. Then use maintenance database Postgres username Postgres then provide the password. Click on save. It will throw error. I will show you the error on resolution. See, unable to connect server connection timed out. Why? Because we have to set the firewall. So click on security group. Then click on security group ID. Then click on inbound rules. Then click on edit inbound rules. Then click on add rule, then custom IP, then set the Postgres, Postgres equal, see port number 5432, select my IP, in your case give the IP range, then click on save rules. Now go to PG admin, click on save. See, we have successfully connected. You go to expand databases, expand them. See here, RDS admin, it is the default database comes with AWS Postgres SQL, RDS. Okay, now create database, right click, database, then provide the database. R2 schools, then click on save. If you want to perform actions, right click, right click on database, query tool. Now verify the version of the Postgres SQL that is created in AWS RDS. Select it, execute it, see Postgres SQL 16.4. Okay. Now let us create a table. Create table.
select it and execute if you go to schemas public then see here we have the tables see we have the table student so this is the one way if you want to create users right click click on logins and roles right click create login and group role okay the other way is by using dbr as i told you if you want to install dbr or pjadmin on your machine then go through the links provided in the video description and install it now click on this new database connection then select the postgres equal then click on next then here in the place of host log host give the endpoint rds instances click on instance copy this endpoint go to the dbr paste here database name give art scores that we have created this is the username provide the password then click on test connection see connected successfully click on okay click on finish see we have the database art scores see here the connection string information okay expand databases see here art scores schemas public tables see here we have the student table right click open sql console verify select version semicolon Execute it. See, we got the same output as PGSQL. You know, okay. The other way is by using PGSQL. Okay. So in this video, we have seen. And last option is, see, see here. If you are not using, stop temporarily. If you want to reboot, click on reboot. If you want to delete, you have to click on delete. You can also do the same. Databases select here, and see here we have the same options. stop temporarily reboot delete and set up ac2 connection we have different options okay and in actions okay if you are not using click on delete now it will ask the confirmation so for confirmation you have to type this delete me okay so in this video we have seen how to create aws rds postgres equal 16.4 then we have seen how to connect to it by using pj admin and db var for more aws rds or postgres equal tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you